hope you're having a great Sunday evening and staying dry. It's been um, pouring and flooding again in Alabama. Big surprise. <laughs> um, tonight I'm making um, mahi mahi with lemon butter and prosciutto um, wrapped asparagus and some brown rice to go with it. I made this um, a couple weeks ago when we had some friends coming to visit. This is a meal that's nice enough for company and also um, quick and easy enough to do on a weeknight. So I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so first of all, I have our oven on 375. Hey, Katie, thanks for sending me um, the uh, dairy-free pasta recipe for James. And then I also have um, my asparagus over here that I prepped already. So I just um, trimmed the ends off the asparagus, and then I just drizzled a little bit of olive oil and sprinkled it with salt and pepper and tossed that all together. And then I just gathered those up into some bunches and wrapped them um, with um, pieces of prosciutto. So you can uh, make the bundles, you know, as big as you want. So I put um, four or five pieces of asparagus um, in each bundle, but you could do um, more or less depending on what you feel like. So I'm going to stick these in the oven so the prosciutto will get um, nice and crisp and the asparagus will get nice and tender. So the roasting it brings out... Um, a nice sweet flavor in, in the asparagus. We're going to stick that in our 375 degree oven and I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes. So usually 15 minutes ish or so on 375. If you do 350 I would do it for 20 minutes. A little bit longer if you do it on 350. Hey Stephanie! Okay so over here I already have our brown rice going. I'll just give you all a little bit of a peek. Um, and so rice is pretty simple. Just follow the package directions. Usually a cup of rice to two cups of water. Um, bring the water to a boil and salt and, um, put um, salt and butter or olive oil in it if you want. Um, and then add the rice um, and uh, reduce it to a simmer and cover and simmer for about 30 minutes. So rice is pretty simple. And that's a, a good basic side dish to go with a lot of things. So over here, I'm going to put a little bit of EVOO in our skillet for the mahi-mahi. And then turn that on to medium. Alright, just turn that on to medium there. Alright. And so this will be a nice and mostly dairy-free meal for James too. We just won't put lemon butter on his and it'll be dairy-free. So over here, I have some mahi-mahi that um, I went ahead at, and um, put some salt and pepper on. And then um, I was going to use a little bit of lemon juice, but I realized I was out of lemons. And, but I have limes, and so citrusy, kind of similar. I'm just going to do a little bit of lime juice. I'm going to squeeze that over our fish. Just a little bit of flavor there. Got the other one. All right, so we're going to get a little bit of the citrusy and tang from the lime. And so we'll have kind of a lemon lime fish today instead of just a lemon fish. So that'll be a mix up from what we did the other night. It's nice to change things up every now and then. All right. So that's good. All right, so we have our fish seasoned over here. And it looks like our pan is warming up nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and add the fish to it. And what's nice about fish, especially for a weeknight, is that it cooks really quickly. So about four minutes on each side and these babies will be done. All right, get that all in the pan. All right, I can hear a little bit of a sizzle as I'm putting these down, so that's perfect. And the little pieces might be done a little bit sooner than the big pieces, so I might be able to take this out a little bit sooner. All right, so I can, I'm going to kind of watch our timer over here. So about at eight minutes, I'll flip these and then cook for another four minutes on the other side. All right. So over here, we have some lemon butter that I already mixed up. So um, what's great about making flavored butters is that you can make a good bit and then use part of it um, for one recipe or one day and then save the rest in the refrigerator or freezer. It keeps Flavored butters keep pretty well. So I had um, did about um, half a stick of um, Kerrygold Irish butter, which, which I love. It has um, 
great flavor from grass-fed cows. Um, I just softened that and um, added the zest of one lemon and the juice of maybe, I don't know, maybe about a quarter to half a lemon, just maybe a little bit of lemon juice, some salt and pepper, and just mix that all up. And so then that um, produces a really nice flavor for lemon butter uh, with the oils from the zest and then also a little bit of lemon juice in that as well. Um, so I um, took what was left from when I made this um, about a week or so ago and just took that out of the fridge and let it come to room temperature. And um, so it's nice and soft now. So all we have to do once the fish is done is just dollop it on top of the hot fish. And it'll melt really nicely over the fish and, and then the rice as well. So that'll create a nice little sauce. So those are a great quick way to add um, flavor to your meals is to make, make um, a, a batch of that and then, then reuse it. All right, so that is simmering quite nicely. Yum, yum, yum. So a couple more minutes on that side. And I'm going to take a peek at our rice. So it's been going for a little while now. So this, there really isn't too much to this dish. Probably the most complicated thing is juicing and zesting the lemon and prepping the lemon butter. Um, but, you know, once that's done, I mean, just salt and pepper your fish, add a little bit of citrus juice to it, cook it in some olive oil. I mean, just cook your rice like normal. Um, the only thing I did differently roasting the asparagus than I normally would was just wrap it, create a few bundles and wrap it in prosciutto, and that really didn't take much time at all. This is definitely doable, and if you have... Um, kids that are old enough to help in the kitchen, a lot of these are things that they could help with as well. Because um, a lot of these things don't require, you know, cooking over the stove or dealing with sharp objects. Um, any kid, you know, once the asparagus has been trimmed, can help toss it in the olive oil and salt and pepper, and creating those little bundles would be a good activity for little hands as well. And also kind of mixing the butter up, they might, Matt would find that fun. All right, so that is cooking along nicely. It's pretty much almost done. All right, so I'm just going to turn the eye off here. It's still a little damp, but I'm just going to let this kind of set and finish cooking in, in the hot pan. Good. Okay, so I'm just going to pop the lid back on. That'll keep it warm, and the rice will keep absorbing the, the, just the little bit of liquid that's left. Perfect. All right, popping and sizzling, coming along nicely. And it's been about four minutes now, so I'm just going to flip these over. Yep, so a little nice sear on it. Perfect. As you can see, the fish really doesn't take very long to cook. And mahi-mahi is a nice, mild, sweet fish, so if you um, aren't really into fishy fish, mahi-mahi is a great choice. It's one of my favorites. Nice and flaky. All right. All right, so I'm going to do another four minutes on that side, and then um, by that time, the asparagus will be almost done, and I'll be able to take that out. Um, sometimes um, I might add a little bit of extra lemon or lime juice to the pan, and that will give it just a little bit more zing as it's cooking. Um, another option would be to add a splash of white wine towards the end of cooking and kind of deglaze the pan um, and add a little bit of flavor from, from the wine as well. So a lot of different options, and you can kind of tweak this to what you want. But the lemon butter is what really makes the dish. And then um, the prosciutto on the asparagus will give it a nice twist as well. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of... Turn our oven light on. Yeah, so the, the it's kind of hard to see through the glass door. 
but that's coming along nicely. There, it's not quite cooked. I want this uh, the bruschetta to be a little bit more done, and I want the asparagus to be a little bit more of a brighter green. All right, but in a few minutes, probably another five, six minutes, that'll be done, and probably another three minutes or so, the fish will be done. So we're pretty much all set. So I hope you en enjoyed um, the uh, lemon butter mahi mahi recipe, and see how easy it is to pull together a nice, um, a nice um, quick meal like this on the weeknight. So. Um, and remember, you can also um, find my videos now on my YouTube channel, Clicky Cooking with Joe. So if you missed any steps or want to go back and watch it or missed last week, then th those are all there as well. I'll put the link on there for you. So y'all have a great evening and bon appetit.